four things that really, really annoy me about Civ 6. The first one is trade routes. Sometimes they come up on auto repeat, you know, where you can just repeat the trade route, and sometimes they don't. You have to do some clicking to get it to work. It's really, really annoying, especially when you have a lot of different trade routes and you don't know when it's going to happen. If you enjoy hearing about, you know, little nuances of games, I would appreciate it if you would click subscribe, like, and add a comment to the bottom. Thank you. The second thing that really aggravates me about Civ 6 is that I play online with some of my friends and we play against each other. When we start those games, you know, we'll be playing for the technology victory, the civic victory, the domination victory, whatever it may be. But once somebody's won that and basically the game says it's over, we switch internally to just playing that game out on domination to see who can control the board. What aggravates me is that once you get to that point, there's no way, there's no button, there's nothing for me to click in a menu or anywhere where I can turn off those stupid civic and technology messages that pop up on the screen. I want a way to do it. It's so aggravating. The third thing I find annoying slash aggravating, really and honestly disappointing about Civ 6 is that when I built the technology for the satellite and the technology for the moon launch it was just a launch it didn't go anywhere i would have preferred something for the satellite you know in addition with it showing the entire board for me to honestly do something like they did in the you know the clint eastwood movie where they went up in space and they were basically the space cowboys i would prefer to basically then have that satellite be a nuclear launch platform where I could launch nukes against anybody, any province on the entire board. To me, that would have been so awesome in terms of gameplay. I wouldn't have cared if I would have had to have built an additional satellite in addition to the first one I launched just to have visibility. But I think that would have been so awesome in terms of adding additional functionality to the game in the long-term play. The second thing in terms of the moon launch, I thought it was anticlimactic. You see a rocket launch. You don't get to see, you know, the actual landing on the moon. You don't get to see it go anywhere. To me, that was uh, really boring. I guess that's the best way to put it. It would have been really nice if it would have shown the landing. I could have accepted that. But because it was basically moon launch slash inhabit the moon, well, let's, why don't we have them take it a step further? Why don't we have, you know... You know, Sid Meier and the development people from the different, you know, organizations that are working on this game come up with something like a moon base where they're working on something, whether it be extraterrestrial or something, where they come up with weapons that can then come back to Earth and basically dwarf everything else that's on the board. To me, that would be interesting. I don't know how they would adopt something like that, but to me, it would have made it much more agreeable to me. Those two things in the game, the satellite and the moon launch, left a bad taste in my mouth from the concept of the game. The fourth item that absolutely drove me crazy and still drives me crazy is that for some reason, rocket artillery is not consistent in terms of the way they fire. And I've tried to figure out what the issue is in terms of, is it a distance issue? Is it who I'm next to or whatever, and I can't figure it out. And what I mean by inconsistent is that sometimes, sometimes I can use a left click with my mouse to target and fire. And it works fine. And then two or three turns later, left click doesn't work anymore to target and fire. Now it's right click. And I'll go to a different piece of rocket artillery, and that one's still on left click. It doesn't make any logical sense to me in terms of what it's doing. And this has caused me unbelievable aggravation in the game because here I am thinking I'm going to do you know, a left click like every other thing in the entire game shoots, whether it be a city, whether it be a submarine, whether it be you know, a jet bomber, anything. They all do left click to fire. But every once in a while, the Stupid rocket artillery is right click. And sometimes when it's gone to right click and I don't know it and I click, you know, the wrong thing, I've moved my rocket artillery because I thought they were going to fire. But now they've moved. 
So, you know, that's caused me aggravation in so many battles and so many games that I've played. Um, this is one of those ones I really, really would like for them to fix because every other unit that I've come across and played, it's always a left click to target and fire. Always. I don't know why the rocket artillery is not consistent. And yes, yeah, some of you guys are going to say, oh, it's your mouse, it's dirty, whatever. I've tried a new mouse, I've tried cleaning my old mouse, and it doesn't make any difference. It still works the same, it still has the same issue with both. Okay? So, just to recap quick, my four big annoyances are traders, the messages for, you know, the civics and, you know, the technology. I would like a way to turn that off. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more out of the satellite and moon, you know, launches. And the last thing is the rocket artillery. So, you know, those are my gripes. Overall, the game is solid. Um, you know, I understand where it's coming from and I understand, you know, what it's trying to accomplish. So overall, I enjoy the game. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you want to tell me what your annoyances are in terms of the game, if you have any, please leave a comment. Thank you. Bye.